Marlene Hutchinson, and welcome to Tips for Guitar Playing Success. As many of you know, I've been sharing my guitar playing tips every Thursday for more than nine years. It's been my way to hopefully help you stay motivated, be inspired, and continue expanding your guitar playing journey. If you're interested in more learning resources like my Thursday Tips blog, my DVDs, books, virtual learning, and more, go to my website, marlenesmusic.com. And for anyone who's feeling like you're missing out on all the fun, you can easily join our wonderful world of guitar with my Learn to Play Guitar in a Day program at marlenesmusic.com. Subscribe, follow, and invite your friends to Tips for Guitar Playing Success. Now, on to today's tip. Today's tip is three more groundbreaking female guitarists. In honor of Women's History Month, I'm continuing my groundbreaking female guitarists series. In this episode, I'll share the fascinating guitar stylings and careers of Joan Jett, Melissa Etheridge, and Muriel Anderson. Do you know someone who would like to play guitar? Be sure to share with them my new Learn to Play Guitar in a Day course. It's now easier than ever to start playing guitar right away. Do you or someone you know already play guitar and want to expand your guitar playing abilities? In my Lesson of the Month Club, you'll learn a new skill each and every month. The links for both the Learn to Play Guitar in a Day course and the Lesson of the Month Club are in the show notes on your podcast app or you can find them on my website, marlenesmusic.com. So let's jump into the careers of these three talented women. Starting with Joan Jett. She is an American rock singer, songwriter, composer, musician, record producer, and actress. She is best known for her work as the front woman of her band, Joan Jett and the Blackhearts, and for her earlier band performing with the Runaways. Her popular songs include Cherry Bomb with the Runaways and with the Blackhearts, I Love Rock and Roll, which was number one on the Billboard Hot 100 for seven weeks in 1982. Other hits include Bad Reputation, Crimson and Clover, and Dirty Deeds. Joan Jett has three albums that have been certified platinum or gold. She's described as the queen of rock and roll and was inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame in 2015. She received her first guitar at age 13 took lessons, but quit because her instructor made her play folk songs. When her family moved to Los Angeles, she pursued her musical career and changed her name from Joan Larkin to Joan Jett because it was more of a rock and roll sounding name. Her favorite guitar to play is a white Gibson Melody Maker that she's been playing since 1977. Next is Melissa Etheridge. She's an American singer, songwriter, and guitarist who began guitar lessons at age eight. She started playing in local country music groups in her teenage years and attended college at the Berklee College of Music. Melissa played the club circuit around Boston, and after three semesters of college, she dropped out of Berkeley and moved to Los Angeles to attempt a music career. Her self-titled debut album, Melissa Etheridge, was released in 1988 and was an underground success, peaking at number 22 on the Billboard 200. 
the lead single, Bring Me Some Water, earned her a Grammy Award. She released two more albums before her mainstream breakthrough album, Yes I Am, containing I'm the Only One and Come to My Window. She earned her second Grammy Award for the song Come to My Window. And Yes I Am was certified as a six-time platinum album. Melissa is known for her music with a mixture of confessional lyrics, pop-based folk music, and raspy, smoky vocals. She has received 15 Grammy Award nominations, winning two. In 2007, she received an Academy Award for Best Original Song for I Need to Wake Up from An Inconvenient Truth. And she received a Hollywood Walk of Fame star in 2011. She is a highly skilled player on both acoustic and electric guitars. And lastly, Muriel Anderson is an American fingerstyle guitarist and harp guitarist who plays in many genres. She is the first woman to win the National Fingerpicking Guitar Championship. Muriel learned to play piano as a child. Then, at eight years old, she was given a guitar from a family friend who was going to throw it away. In her early teens, she took guitar lessons. Then in high school, she joined the jazz band and helped to form a bluegrass band with which she performed through her college years. She attended DePaul University, where she took mandolin lessons from Jethro Burns, who introduced her to his brother-in-law, none other than Chet Atkins, who soon became a friend and a mentor. She has performed with Chet Atkins, Tommy Emanuel, Earl Klug, Les Paul, and Doc Watson. She has released more than a dozen solo albums, including the highly acclaimed double album, Nightlight, Daylight, which won 11 national and international awards. Her music can be heard in Woody Allen's film, Vicky Cristina Barcelona, and her album Heartstrings accompanied astronauts on the space shuttle Discovery. She plays a nylon string guitar and a Doolin custom 21-string harp guitar, which has both nylon and steel strings. To hear these amazing women play their guitars, go to the links in my Thursday Tips blog, which you can find at my website, marlenesmusic.com. And stay tuned. Next week will be the last episode in this groundbreaking female guitarist series, and I'll be featuring Orianthe, Cheryl Crow, and Khaki King. I hope this episode's tip has helped you to continue expanding your guitar playing skills and knowledge. If you'd like to learn more, please check out the many learning resources available at marlenesmusic.com. Thank you for joining today's podcast, and as I like to say, play on.